Who you are is core in your identity, which is more than a job title or a label. Label. Take out label? Uh, no, labels, labels, I think the ending of it. Let's see. It's more than a job title or a label. The songs that I listen to. Yeah. So we're taking this out? Yeah, the songs that I listen to. Yeah. Cool. I have collected some of my favorite tools, etc. Number five. Oh, fa oh, backwards. Informational interviews. Backwards. I want all of resources and strategies that I have used to make my career pivot. Backwards. Back. I don't remember what changed in the programming at the last minute. Oh, but my, oh, we're getting close. Right. Right. June, I applied to be a speaker, and then I had won the DC Femtech Award in July. Okay, uh, this is the part I edit, so we can keep going. Keep going forward. Mm -hmm. I was accepted, and on November 9, 2019, a couple weeks before I was arrested, I gave a talk at a conference of over 300 uh, attendees. I gave a talk at the conference. <laughs> on While I was at Streetwise, I learned how to negotiate, elevator pitch, setting up a LinkedIn, how to network, how to tailor your resume. While I was at GAA, I found myself reinforcing these skills with my peers. We had an outcomes team that helped people get jobs. But there were certain things I learned from Streetwise, which I felt had given me the advantage. To this day. First, I was sought out by GA students, then Streetwise, then random people on LinkedIn would contact me. When I felt like I was giving them the same informational talk over and over again, I created a slide deck and applied it to give a talk about how to get a job in UX at the November DC UX in 2019. DC UX was a two-day conference organized by the International User Experience Professional Association, UXPA. In June, I applied to be a speaker, and then I won the DC Femtech in July. General Assembly made me a regular to talk on their alumni panel and their organizers of community outreach events, even asked if I could moderate a panel discussion about Ladies Lounge, Women Conquering the World of Tech. I would lead this discussion the same week in August, late in the beginning of October, I had the mental health crisis incident which was chapter one. I went to work the next week, staying in the mental hospital. <laughs> it's so crazy to just like read it like regularly, <laughs> like, and not like relive it right now. Woo, okay. After staying in the mental hospital for a week, like clockwork, I was still maintaining the image of women in tech. And one moment, one month later, <laughs> this is like the part I reread, and it's like so hard. Take a breath. <laughs> And one month later, October 20, 2019, I gave a talk at DC Tech Rebalance, a conference to celebrate diversity in DC tech community, specifically for underrepresented genders and sexes, including women, non-binary, trans individuals. My talk was titled, Are Boot Camps Right For You? About five people came to my talk, where I shared my experience with General Assembly and talked about why I chose them over other boot camps. It was essentially free advertising for GA. I had asked them to give me some stickers and coupon codes. Two months later, 
I was accepted to be a speaker at DCUX. This was November 9th, 2019, a couple weeks before the detective I talked to when I was released out of the mental hospital would call me up and tell me to turn myself into jail. Otherwise, he would have happily arrest me at home or at work if I failed to comply. I gave a talk at the conference of over 300 attendees. And then the rest is the same. That was hard to read. That's hard to read because I'm like trying to like read it as if it's just like, and like I want like the juxtaposition of like, it's just another day. I'm doing my things. I'm accomplishing all this stuff. Meanwhile, I'm like in between my incident and in between going to jail. Like I want, like I want to feel like the gravity of it, and that's what I feel like the original part didn't have that. So I, I was hoping that like adding this edit would just like show the gravity of it all, you know. And my session was called career shifting strategies okay and then you're gonna put some stuff at the end of this right yeah wow so this one is almost 20 minutes 20 yeah minutes. it's like um the beginning the first the first one the incident mm -hmm. wasn't that one really long too uh, wasn't it like 17 minutes let me see here let me see uh, yep 17 okay but this one's even longer yeah i'm just like packing everything in here it's okay Oh, yeah. a place where professionals could express themselves i wanted to be okay let me know when you're ready yep and just give it a little pause before you start yeah okay. a place where professionals could express themselves i wanted to be the voice to be an advocate for people who look like me to be able to be in technology i feel like maybe the i can't maybe the the mesh thingy is like Okay, I think I like moved it. <clears throat> An advocate for people who. Okay, can I start from the beginning? Yep. 